Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another exciting PrestaShop tutorial. Well, I know I always say it's exciting, but this week it really is awesome, as we're gonna build an Ajax contact form in PrestaShop, or well, better to say, turn the default one into an Ajax form. So I have a demo here, and yeah, let's try it out. Um, I added my button this ugly spot, so I guess you should find one that stands out a bit more, but uh, as you can see, as soon as I click, there is our form. And uh, if I try to submit without adding anything, bang, error. So let me add some garbage here. Um, I know, me at me.com, garbage. Yep, good, it works. So yeah, I know it's not super fancy in terms of visuals as maybe it would need a spinner when you submit or some better transition effects, but of course you can expand beyond what I do in the video. So let's get to it. I decided to do everything inside product.tpl. So uh, open yours up, locating it in the theme folder. Yeah, I need to reduce this window here. Okay. And keep in mind the HTML you have uh, there depends on your template, so it might differ from mine. I will add the button once more in that ugly position, just because just I did previously. Um, so I will look for uh, hook extra right in my case. And as I said, we need the button first. So an anchor tag with href link get page link. And it's going to be contact. I also want to add content content only equals one since I want to get the page without header and footer just the content of the page I will add an ID um, contact dash us dash pop up okay I'll just write contact us without uh, using the, the proper code then a script so script and I want to wrap the content within literal otherwise uh, press the shop might spawn errors if we use brackets inside I'll also use um, content ready for a jQuery and uh, what do you want to do here well since press the shop has fancy box I guess I will use that so I'm just ex expanding here, don't worry. So it's just a generic a jQuery element, contact us pop up dot fancy box. And I'm gonna add some parameters here. Then brackets, so type, it's gonna be Ajax. Auto dimensions false. Auto size false width, uh, say 600, I don't know, and height, um, auto, why not? Okay. Okay, good, let's test it out. Save, you know, refresh the page here. Okay, contact us, so let's click. And it looks nice, but if I click on send you'll see uh, this is not good as it's posting to the same page we opened which might even be okay if it was the normal one but it's screwed up as it's content only and anyway we want to contact uh, an ajax contact form right so let's now take advantage of a function fancy box has named after show that trigger triggers after the fancy box content is displayed as the name suggests and uh, within it we will target our form and send the message via Ajax so let's add another part after show and it's gonna be function let's target the submit button so um, contact oops uh, sorry, not the submit uh, button, the submit action. So it's contact form box dot submit and the event. I will prevent default. 
And what should we do here? Well, of course, we need to format our data and send it over. So we need form data. So var form data. Wow, lowercase is okay. New form data. And we're going to use this. So this, uh, the form object, at zero, since we need the first instance of it. Um, like this is going to be kind of an array, and we need to get the very first element. Then form data dot append, and I'm going to append submit message, giving it a value of one. So we need the script to know that we are submitting the message; otherwise, it would just reload the page as it is. Also, we want a reference to the form, so I think I'll just learn that equals this. Nice. Save. Now, the Ajax call. So, within the submit, I'll use Ajax call, just again, shorthand, text expansions. Type is going to be post. Uh, data is going to be form data. And the URL is going to be this attribute action. Then the following two are um, fundamental for the multi part form data to be sent over correctly. So we need to add content type false and process data also false. Okay, and then of course the success method to handle uh, the response. Okay, remember if you didn't add the uh, prevent default before, uh, do it now at the very end, or just return false because we don't false, just because we don't want to submit the form for real. Okay, so in the success method, I want to check if I have um, the error. And if not, uh, display the success box. So first, var error equals, and we're going to use something weird here. We're going to use um, a function called parse HTML, a uh, very useful function jQuery has. So we're going to pass in data, and now we're going to filter using alert dot alert danger using two classes just in case. Uh, what this basically does is pa uh, it uh, parses the um, data string which is actually HTML. We cannot use a normal jQuery object like this and use find because it's not a real DOM. It's just a bunch of elements at the same level. And then of course we use filter just to get the class, um, sorry, div with class we want. Then if error dot length is more than zero. I will use that, which is a for prehand error. Else, well, it's success, good. So I will use var success, and again, I'll just copy this, since we need to parse the HTML again. So I'll parse HTML data, and I will use alert, alert, success. Okay, I use that dot fade out since I want to fade out the form at this point fast. And as a callback, I'll use function and I will append. Oh, let me, oops, it's going out of screen. Let me append uh, this after. So after the form, which has been hidden now, I will append success. Okay, good. I think we're done. Uh, that's that should be basically it. So let's test it out. We cannot test the conf um, the success because I didn't I didn't have uh, my local server configured to send emails. So we'll always find an error. But let's see if it works. It works. So uh, let's assume it works in the other case too, since again we, we saw the demo. So everything should be good. All right, so this is everything for today's video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more great PrestaShop tutorials and tips.
Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.